Hello ladies, this is Samantha, and this video is for Shirley. This is my first video. I've never done a video. I never really wanted to do videos. But, since people like my reviews, and it's getting a bit difficult for me to type out all of that stuff with my arthritic fingers, I figured it might be easier to do the review on video. Although I hate doing this. So I got some new products. I've been on a no buy since November, Black Friday. I have bought nothing except replenishing my staple products. And I have been itching and dying and wanting to buy new stuff. I'm finally released from my, my no buy. So I have bought a few things. Part of the reason I was itching to buy new things, I colored my hair. My hair has a blonde tint. It doesn't, it, I've used Blonde by Dark and Lovely Ash Blonde or Honey Blonde and um, it's really dry. I went to Florida a week after and stayed there for a week and um, it's so humid down there that I didn't realize my hair had gotten so dry because your hair is always damp because it's always humid. So coming back I came home to dry in Pittsburgh to dry dry hair and needed to find some ways to remedy that because it was uh, it starting to break. So um, I decided to do some treatments, of course a protein treatment, which I did with my uh, Curl Junkie Repair Me, which is the best protein treatment out there, hands down for me. But I also decided to do some clay. I used to do clay masks and things years ago, got out of it, don't know why. Got, I'm trying to get back into it, so I tried to decided to try some different things. First thing I decided to try was the Bobine Shampoo Bar. It's the Coco and Rasool Clay. This bar is excellent. I do not even like shampoo bars. Um, decided to do this because it has chocolate and because it has Rasool Clay. Chocolate has been helping me with my shedding. I'm sickly and um, I'm very, very anemic, highly iron deficient. My hair sheds like crazy, so I had to try to find ways to stop the shedding and strengthen my hair because my hair is fine. Um, and this really, really felt good on my hair. I felt like it cleansed my hair. It is a cleansing bar, more so than moisturizing. I felt like it cleansed my hair. I have been using some cones, usually one cone per regimen and um, I always try to make sure I use something that will wash that out even though I use a water soluble cone I like to almost clarify but not strip my hair and that's what this did it clarified but did not strip even after just washing my hair was still shiny it didn't lose any luster it was just perfect the smell is like uh, a bit it's like chocolate but you do smell the clay it does have the clay undertone to it which is fine by me it's a shampoo bar and the smell on most shampoos does not last anyway you end up covering it with your other styling products so I had a great time with this um, I in, ended up this is a nice size bar but I ended up purchasing ordering the big one because I like that so much the second thing I did was a deep treatment also with a Rasool clay this one's by Blue Rose Beauty and it is her Coco and Rasool Clay uh, deep conditioning treatment. <clears throat> this was outstanding. It smells like chocolate. If you've ever smelled, um, if you've ever smelled Bass Cacao Bark, or if you've ever smelled the uh, Pura Chocolate Smoothie, almost the exact same thing as far as smell. Now, as far as consistency, it's kind of like more like the um, the chocolate smoothie. It's thinner. It's a nice creamy consistency, spreads on the hair very easy. A little goes a long way, and I'm usually pretty heavy handed because I want to make sure I get every single strand. But this one on easy, I did not use a whole lot of the product, so this should last me pretty good. Um, it's, you can, you do get slip with it. It is not a heavy slip conditioner, but I don't look for slip in my DCs. I look for slips in rinse outs. I look for slip in my leave-in. Um, I do not look for slip in a DC. What I'm looking for in a DC is a treatment. I want it to moisturize my hair. I want it to strengthen my hair. I want it to do something that is not instant. That's why it's a deep conditioner. Now, once you let this set on your hair for about even three to four minutes, 
suddenly you can detangle with it. It suddenly seems to develop slip. It softens your hair to the point where you can detangle. After about a minute or two, I do my hair in four sections. By the time I came around to the first section again, I was able to completely detangle my hair. Perfect. Worked out very well. Left it in for with a shower cap while I cooked and did some things around the house for about two hours. And then I rinsed it out. My hair felt like butter. I loved it. It was soft, but not overly soft. I felt strength in my hair. My hair did not feel fragile, as fragile as it usually does when it's wet. Um, I really, 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 really recommend this treatment. If you're looking for something to give you strength without a whole lot of protein or anything of that nature, if you're really protein sensitive, I would definitely look into this. Um, the last thing I used, well, I also used my Oyen Shine and Define which is a staple for me um, as my curl cream um, and I use some of the uh, Belle Nouveau the uh, aloe and avocado and castor leave-in as my leave-in those are staples those are things I already use and if anybody wants to hear a review on those just let me know and I'll tell you about those I'll probably do reviews especially on the Belle Nouveau anyway because I've been experimenting with that for about a month um, to try to find a change and difference in my hair. The last thing I use is also a new product for me. It is the Camille Rose Curl Maker. And I am a flaxseed gel user. I only use most of the time my own homemade flaxseed gel. There was one other homemade flaxseed gel that I was given the privilege to test for someone in the group that I'm in and I love it. I will buy that from her the moment she puts it on the market. Um, but all other gels, I've tried Eco Styler, I've tried just a ton of other gels, Goddess Curls, um, I've just tried a lot of other gels and never had any luck with them. But I was in Target and they had Camille Rose on sale and I decided to go ahead and try this curl maker and I said I'll give it a shot. If not, I'll give it to one of my daughters. I love it. It's what's in my, all of these things are whether in, in my hair now. The curl maker gives you curl without crunch. I mean, I had little to no crunch with this, and it is thick. It is a thick consistency, very jelly, very jelly. Um, not quite like an Eco Styler. It's still a little thinner than something like that, but not as thin as a flaxseed gel. It certainly doesn't have the snotty consistency of flaxseed gel. It's just a thinner gel. Smells like citrus. Smells delicious. Um, can't go wrong with it. It's like pink grapefruit. That's what it reminds me of. Um, can't go wrong with the scent. It's a nice finisher. It, the scent still doesn't last. Um, <clears throat> I think my hair smells more like the shine and define than anything. Um, the scent doesn't last. It's a very nice smell. Very nice. Uh, um, it's thick going on. It is kind of heavy, kind of like an Eco Styler. You feel the pool of it. Um, um, it's best used on soaking wet hair because the drier your hair, the thicker it seems to go on. So if your hair is really wet, and what I did was just sprayed my hair some more after I did my leave-ins and things, and used that on top, and this is what I got. Um, the curls are pretty defined, although I have shrinkage. I'm going to, you're going to have shrinkage. Um, I have a little less shrinkage than usual. Um, I do like the way that it feels. This is first day hair. I just did my hair today. We'll see how it lasts throughout the week. Um, but I do like the way my hair feels. I like the flow of it. It does have some movement. Um, and I would highly, I would recommend this too for someone who has problems with gels. Um, it works pretty well. So that's all I have to say right now. Um, hopefully I'll continue making videos and they'll get better. Um, I know I did not list any ingredients. I will try to put those in the description box when I upload the video. Um, normally, um, for my next videos, I will read off the ingredients for you and talk about some of them as since I am also a home mixtress and do my research. So everyone have a good day. I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.